one of my favorite features of Ecamm Live Pro is the virtual camera. It's perfect for taking the power of Ecamm's Mac-based full production studio into any system that uses a webcam. But there was always one issue, a phrase you've probably heard me say multiple times, and that is, you need a virtual mic. <laughs> uh, production into Microsoft Teams? Yes, need a virtual mic. Production into StreamYard? Mm-hmm, need a virtual mic. Production into Google Meet? That's right. You'll need a virtual mic production into Zoom. I know I've said it multiple times, but you'll need a virtual mic. Between the hardware solutions like the Rodecaster Pro and software solutions like Loopback, one of my favorites, we've managed to make this work. But I'm excited to share that in the 3.10, 3.10 release of Ecamm Live, Adam has found his Eve in that Ecamm's virtual camera now has its perfect counterpart in a built-in virtual microphone. I'm Kirk Nugent, your live video coach. And on this channel, I show you how to use live streaming to grow and engage an audience, funnel clients to your business, or establish yourself as a thought leader. And today we're looking at Ecamm Live Pro version 3.10, my top four features. Let's get into it. There are many features in 3.10, right? Very many features. They've done a lot of work. Kudos to the team at Ecamm. I'm gonna show you my top four, but I'm gonna show you a couple other little Easter eggs along the way. So buckle up. I'm gonna try and make this quick. A uh, first one that I wanna show you is the sound slash movie time remaining. Now, this has been one I've been after for a while, y'all. I mean, listen, I'm gonna play this video real quick and I will show you while this video is playing for your business all right so here in the top corner right here up at the top corner company shout out during you can actually see the time remaining in the video clip that has been something we really needed now i want to pause this real quick because i also want you to see something right here on the screen so here is the the icon that we're used to i'm going to zoom in on it real quick this icon right here you hit this and you this is all what we're used to all what we're used to do nothing loop go to next scene and broadcast all what we're used to but notice that it's in a different spot it was not over here before over here on this side we have something else and what is that that is start from beginning start from last position so if i leave this scene where it is right now go to another scene come back to this scene looking for marketing opportunities this time it's going to start from the beginning but i want to pause it and select start from last position select the position I want it, come out of the scene, go back to it, and website. It starts right from where I left off. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. Here's the other thing I like. It will fade out when you go to another scene. So I'm gonna press play on this. And gold sponsor packages are available. Go to info. See how that faded out? All right, I'm gonna go back over to it. Allworks.com for more information. And I'm gonna go to it. It fades out. It doesn't just abruptly cut, it fades out. And it does that for the sound effects as well. So I'm gonna play a soundtrack here. So that's a soundtrack I'm playing. And first of all, right here at the bottom, you'll see that we can see the time remaining, right? If we zoom in on that real quick, you can see the time remaining on that. But when I stop that from playing, it, it just fades out gracefully. I love that. Great touch, Ecamm. You guys are doing some phenomenal work. And then if I slide this onto the scene, it will play as, as it would normally. But when you come to the wheel, you can not only control the volume, right? The volume level of that track in this particular scene, but you can decide whether that track stops when this scene ends or it will continue on into the next scene. That's pretty dope. I mean, come on, yo, Ecamm, y'all are doing the thing, man. This is amazing. This is amazing. So I'm excited about that. Thank you, Ecamm. That's my number one, right? My number one is the, the sound movie updates and upgrades we've received, especially as a producer. I love that we get those pieces. Number two, number two is the Amazon live bit rate. So I'm actually going to go to uh, a scene here. Right, like we, we already played the video scene. 
I'm going to go to an, the a scene where I have my iPad. OK, now this is this is going to be interesting because I've got to plug up my iPad first, which I'm going to do right now. I'm already on the Amazon live screen on my iPad, so I'm plugging it in. But I want you to notice something when I plug it in, plug it in immediately comes right up. I say not now on this, but one of the things that you will notice uh, if, if depending on how you have your stuff set up, if you go to sources or sorry, camera, you can actually tell it when you want the iPad to show up or any iOS device. That's one of the features. It won't just pick it up automatically, but I already had this set up in the scene, so it did. But when you first plug in your tablet or your iPhone, your iOS device, it will ask you if you're ready. So in that bottom, that camera switcher, it'll say, do you want to start using this device? So it doesn't automatically do that anymore, which is good. All right, that's good because you want to make sure you do that on your own time. But that's good. That's cool. So now I'm going to change. Uh, I'm, I'm changing to the custom stream key. And you can see here that it is it already says go live with the Amazon logo. It, it already knows that it's ready to go. And I'm going to click the go live button. I want you to notice here that Amazon is waiting, right? Amazon is waiting for the feed. So I'm just gonna click go live and see if the feed works. So I'm clicking go live now, and we're gonna give it a few seconds, four seconds, five seconds. And we're waiting. Listen, this is real. I, 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 I can't I can't cut this part out. And there you have it. It says go live and it is actually ready to go live. Now, I'm not going to click the go live button because then it would actually go live on my on my pages. And I don't want to do that. But I wanted you to see that they have are. This is one of the features. And because I'm a huge Amazon Live fan, I'm excited about this feature. The Amazon Live bit rate, the Amazon Live bit rate. I'm going to go ahead and click finish and that. Uh, because I don't, definitely don't want to go live on Amazon in the middle of my recording here. But I wanted you to see that that is there. Other thing that I want you to see here in these destinations is that one stream live has been added. Think about that, fam. One stream is a platform a good friend, Monty Weaver, has been telling me about. He's got some great videos on that. I might have to start doing some videos on it as well another distribution point. So one stream live is now a native destination. And what I'm told, this is not the this is the first of many other native destinations to come. I am excited, of course, that we do have Twitch in here as well. Even though I don't stream to Twitch, I do like to see these platforms giving us a robust offering. And that is exactly what Ecamm has set out to do. Kudos to the folks over at Ecamm. So now I want to show you my third favorite item and that is scene groups now anybody that has, has seen me do this before you know i have a thing called the camera switcher I'm, I'm zooming in on this folder called the camera switcher right now and i have these these scenes set up in here and i have the 10 second clock in the corner kind of transparent that will advance to the next scene but what i'm going to do is right here i'm going to going to well let's go into the camera switcher folder we're just going to create a new folder Right here at the bottom, you see this icon that says new automatic group. I'm going to click that, zoom in on it real quick so you guys can see that again. I'm going to click that new automatic group. And let's drag this up a bit. Right there. And in this new automatic group, I'm going to drag in these four scenes. Put that one in there. This one in there. This one in there and this final one in there. And now I'm gonna click on the wheel next to this new automatic group. Of course, you would name it whatever you want. Click on this wheel and I can set this scene, let's say to five seconds and you can have it do, let's do random, let's do random. Let's have it just do random. And I can now just click the play button and every five seconds, it's going to change from one scene to the next scene to the next scene. It's almost like a built in slideshow or a built in camera switcher for Ecamm. And I love this Ecamm. I cannot thank you enough for this. You have no idea 
This could be used during your countdown clock. This can be used uh, for for public speakers or preachers, teachers, whatever. You have multiple camera angles. You can load these up into an automatic camera group and set your timer and away you go. I first saw my good friend Keith Pelzer do this and I absolutely loved it. So I'm excited that they have given this to us. So that is feature number three the scene groups that's the technical term i want you to get the actual term that ecamm uses scene groups for me it's a camera switcher or a slideshow whichever you want to call it but scene groups scene groups that is pretty dope i'm going to go ahead and pause that close it down and it's 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 off on the side it's ready to go the final feature that i want to show you i'm going to have to go over to zoom to show this is my favorite feature and i think it is probably pound for pound the biggest one it's the one i talked about in the in the lead up and that is the virtual microphone the virtual microphone so we go up here to output right at the top output i'm going to zoom in here output i'm going to click on this you come down a little bit you can see here virtual mic right nested under virtual camera i told you it's the perfect partner right so here we go to virtual mic and we just simply turn it on Turn that bad boy on just like we did for our virtual camera. Turn that bad boy on and you are good to go. Virtual mic, virtual camera, they're both on, we're ready to go. Now, let's go over to Zoom. Let's go over to Zoom and see what that looks like. And now we're in Zoom. Okay, so we're in Zoom and yes, my camera is off in Zoom. And there's a reason for that because I have the virtual camera selected in Zoom. So I'm gonna hit this thing and let you see that. You can see here, virtual camera, Ecamm Live virtual camera is selected, but I'm using Ecamm to record. So if I turn on my camera, you're gonna get the inception effect. I'm just gonna show it to you real quick, just to prove the point. I am using Ecamm to record this video and I, I don't wanna have that on the screen, but I'm using the Ecamm virtual camera going into Zoom. And so now what I'm gonna do is change my microphone from the Rodecaster Pro. Let's go to audio settings. I want you to see this prominently. We're going to change my microphone from right microphone from the Rodecaster Pro to the Ecamm live virtual camera. Sorry, 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 sorry. The Ecamm live virtual mic. Boom, there's the Ecamm live virtual mic. And so now we're in here, we have the virtual mic and you can already see that my audio is coming through. But that audio was already coming through, so that might not be a proof of the, the test. So what I'm gonna do is actually play a sound effect from Ecamm. And so you're hearing that in the recording, but you're also seeing that on the mic. So what that means for us is that anything you're doing in Ecamm, all right, it is all going into Zoom through your virtual microphone. And some people are like, well, my microphone already worked, so why would I wanna use the virtual mic if I'm not playing music, if I'm not playing a movie, right? Because in both of those instances, the virtual microphone is the only way that this will work. Well, you would also wanna use your virtual microphone for just your mic if in Ecamm you have a delay set up on your mic to sync your video and audio. So I wanted to make sure you know that if you have that delay in Ecamm, selecting your regular mic in Zoom will not give you that delay. And this is, of course, applicable if you go to Teams, if you go to uh, a StreamYard, if you go to go, if you go to uh, Google Meet, or if you go to uh, uh, Zoom. Of course, Zoom is what we're using right now. So this is the virtual microphone uh, along with its counterpart, the virtual camera, and we're good to go. You got the virtual camera, you got the virtual microphone, the match made in heaven is complete. And I'm excited about version 3.10 of Ecamm Live. Here's a quick point of clarification for those hovering over the uninstall option for loopback. The built-in virtual mic from Ecamm is awesome and it meets a very basic and specific need, but it's a one-way flight. And what I mean by that is if you need to have your audio from your destination come back to you and your guests in Ecamm, this virtual mic simply wasn't made for that. The producer will hear Zoom, but guests won't be able to without some additional config or a utility like loopback. But my guess is that will change very soon.
This is the first step in what I am predicting is a much tighter integration between Ecamm and web conferencing platforms, especially Zoom. Keep an eye on this one, folks. <laughs> the four features I highlighted are part of a long list of updates rolled out in version 3.10. Do yourself a favor right now, click on the update option today, get familiar with the new version of Ecamm. And, and let me know in the comments, which is your favorite feature? Because I definitely want to hear what your top four is as well. As always, it's your boy, Kirk Nugent, the Geek Speaker Preacher, hoping it's somewhere in the video today, we got you a little closer to figuring out how it all works. And we'll see you in the next video.